Hey, Mickey. Uh, actually, uh, slight critique. It's supposed to be just. What happened? Oh, what happened? I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Spidey, it's okay. We'll Spidey, dropped, Spidey dropped into be, and dropped into his punk phase, and now he's Ooh. turning oh. into his futuristic self. Huh? Yep. It's okay. 299. Mickey Mouse 2099. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I, I'm so glad. You know what? Par, Parmy would love. Okay, but I mean, okay. First, I'll just gonna say, yeah, you that's got... right. Spider 20, Spider Man 2099 is pretty gosh dang cool so also allows me to show off just is. some of the combat i love like this is how cool 2099 is you just go and just go yeah. and it goes down it goes around it goes swing and then boom also yeah. just saying that real quick cool. since we were talking about like mickey 2099 that just reminds me of that quote and i'll just do it as mickey it's like you know what my dad would say if he was alive someone help me i'm stuck in this coffin <laughs> oh he always was a kidder mj so yeah, welcome everybody to another one of these demon bases. So I need to be stealthy here and take them out with greatest of ease. And what, what, and what, what, they had to raid it just as the store was closing. So let's first have this guy. Don't. So you guys, you guys aren't getting along very well. I'm going to have you two take a timeout in the two, send the corners. Don't, don't. Yeah. Uh, you guys, you guys really need to work on your management skills, so I'm gonna have you two work on a bonding exercise. Donk! And, and you, I just don't Timothy, <laughs> need a boot to the head. <laughs> Timothy just needs a boot to the head. Oh, shoot, they saw the boot to- Ow! I bequeath my entire Try that again. boot to the head. <laughs> that garage door, man, jeez! Yeah, sometimes the co sometimes the combat the walls. And the plot twist of that- and the plot twist of that whole thing that he- that you were the Jimmy- you were the Jimmy in the wind. <laughs> And another for Jenny. <laughs> and finally, a lifetime supply of ice cream. What flavor is it? Boot to the head. <laughs> <laughs> and and to my and to my dear Felix cat, I leave my whole boot to the head. Yes, boot to the head. And for my attorney, I leave not a boot to the head, but a rabbit Tasmanian rabbit has devil to be placed <laughs> in his trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way he did that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> And I leave the entirety of my 1.2 million euro estate to the people of Calgary so they can't lift the face this it. I, I, again, I love the uh, the Phoenix Apollo. Right. I do love I love the Phoenix Wright Sprite animation because A, Cover your head, it was everyone. very well, it was because A it was very well animated and like B apparently was so animated like the original people who did the skit, the people who wrote the skit even liked the video. <laughs> I don't mean, want no boot to the head. Ow! It, it was it was, again. It was just, it just worked so well with the scene. It did. It was in all the different characters, and and of course, freaking pain would be the wimp. Actually, that and of course, go and of course, Godot. Is it Godot or Godot? I always said Godot or Godot. Of course, he like would that. be the alcoholic. I don't want no boot to the head. Drinks the coffee. I leave my vast collection of whiskey and my wine cellar. Really? really? And a boot to the head. <laughs> Ow! Oh, damn. Yeah, there was that. There was. Uh, anyway. Uh, and, uh, okay, uh, one more, then we'll get back to this. <laughs> I love that Edgeworth was the nephew. It's like, this is so predictable. I leave a boot to the head. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And then, uh, okay, wait. What's, is it Von Karma? Or Von. The. the, Von, the yeah, I mean, oh, Francisca Von Karma. Von Karma, thank you. Yeah. She was Jenny. Huh. <laughs> it's like, it's like, you always cried crocodile tears. What? Anyway. Boot to the head. A uh, what? Ow! Sad. And another one with your husband. Anyway, moving on. So, another topic I remember we brought up last time, spoilers, was um, that I'm a part of me really would have liked if the if the if the Buzz Lightyear of Star Command got some sort of CGI like remake or CG like. Or some HD revamp of the pilot film that they made. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, The Adventure Begins. Like, that was a pretty damn good movie. Go ahead. It was so fun. Like, it's like, oh, it's just, you can't make something evil. Get Make it evil yourself. That's it's what like, Nana Zerg used I love to say. Uh, like, a lot of exchanges I love. Like, the one with Zerg, it's like, you're talking about my plan. I came up with a plan. I orchestrated the plan. It's my plan. What I don't understand is why you're not initiating my plan. Yeah, that, that would be an outdoor voice. <laughs> I love that. But I love, like, I just love, like, Nana, that's what Nana Zerg used to say. And then he does, like, Nana Zerg would be so proud <laughs> And like, also, who, vo who voiced Zerg in that? Wayne Knight. Oh, that was Wayne Knight. I almost thought it was. Oh my god! I almost thought, 
For some reason, I almost thought it was John DiMaggio at some point. I thought it was the same guy who voiced Dr. Robotnik in the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon. Long John Baldry? Long John Baldry. Yeah, yeah I, I thought, thought it was Tristan, Long John Baldry. No. Didn't he already pass that away would... around the time of that movie release? I think so. I yeah, think. but it would, it would have been... I think he would have been a fun Zerg, though. He would have been. I will mm -hmm. say. Though, honestly, I just find it more surprising that Wayne Knight's actually still in the business today. Like, he's the, yeah. he's, he's the freaking shell goose, whatever his name is, in the um, Three Caballero the show. Yeah. Ooh, wow. I, I love that. I love that he's still doing voice work. Pigeon. He has such, I was about to say, I love that he's still doing voice work. He has such an infectious performance. And honestly, was, and honestly was, with this new rule, it's no different. It's just like, all this few bits. Like, like, he's, like, when he's stammering, when he's just going on his way to their little yard sale. Yeah. <laughs> There's that. I like, um, okay, one more thing I remember from Zerg was, like, when he was firing the giant ray, it's like, okay. test the Zergatronic ray. And he's, what, he says, like, something like Zergolithic or Zergolithic or Zerg. Yes, sir. Testing the Zergolithic ray. Zargatronic, you nitwit! It tests it's like. Uh, sorry. Although I do like, although I do like Zergolithic. Save it for save it for a future project. I like that. <laughs> Did uh, you make sure that the plus part was on the plus part and that the minus part was on the minus part? That I'm convinced is a reference <laughs> um, to the Toy Story. Can I just interrupt real quick? Can I just interrupt with something real quick? What's up? Uh, Spidey, I. I, or excuse me, uh, Peter. I hate to tell you this, but uh, recently, Oscorp recently had a bit of had a co-op had a partnership with Al's Toy Barn, and they pretty much made all their Zerg's um toy the Zerg toys and they need to be recalled because they're laden with some really bad chemicals. Devil, damn it, Harry! Peter, uh, with what with, with what James messed up with literally, Peter. I found out you're Spider Man. And unfortunately, <laughs> I couldn't stop. Unfortunately, I couldn't stop myself. I posted to my Instagram, and now the whole actually, world knows. Like, actually, the joke, the joke I was expecting James to go with that is like, so Peter Oscorp had a um, deal with Al's Toy Barn to produce these new Zerg action figures. However, these Zerg action figures are the size of skyscrapers, and now they're rampaging through the city. <laughs> well, you see, you see, some, some, there was a small typo. It was supposed to be a, it was supposed to be a, it was supposed to be a one to one hundred scale. But they mixed it up, and so they had to be a 100 to 1 scale. So they made them 100,000 times bigger. Yeah, God damn. It's like, it's like I, I can understand them messing that up with the paperwork. I don't know where they were confused by giving it actual lasers instead of Nerf balls, though. Like, I don't know what gave them that assumption. <laughs> You know, it's a good thing Thanos wasn't around that day to notice. <laughs> it's just that. Or, uh, there's there's going to be some... There's just going to be some things. Uh, that, uh, what the heck am I trying to say? There, there's going to be some funny things. Like, one thing I do like from the MCU is... Uh, okay, this is a quote from Far From Home. Mm -hmm. It's not a spoiler, though, but it's just talking about, like, how much the world has changed... Oh, and yeah. like time and talking about how mythos and things like re, like the elementals they believe are based upon like you know the ancient deities of fire and stuff mm -hmm. and, uh -huh. and and then Peter Parker's like, I mean it makes sense. I mean I mean they used to I mean Thor used to be like a myth a mythological figure and now I study him in physics. <laughs> <laughs> all this fire, all this flying and lightning and music. Remember when this stuff used to be myth. Now it's actually now it's the now it's people we commute commute with every other day. Oh, oh, I get, oh, I also oh, I also have confirmation that Thor three with uh, Taika Waititi is in production. Oh yeah, I heard really? about that. And wait, you mean Thor Thor four? Yeah, that's yeah, what uh, yeah Thor four one. Thor four. Sorry, Thor four the fourth one. I will say. Sorry, I like to forget that Dark World ever happened. Okay, that's, that's fair. Oh that's yeah, that's fair. fair. The real three, quote unquote. I will Any. say that being said, I am a little bit conflicted Ooh. because. I really enjoyed Thor Ragnarok. However, my big problem with that is that I feel like it leaned oh, a little man. too much on the comedic side. Like, it kind of overstomped oh, no, no. a lot of the more dramatic <laughs> moments. I'm uh -huh. really hoping he learned his lesson and puts in a better balance. Uh, when did this happen? Here's See? hoping. Also, sometimes when I'm moving too fast, some of the lips... The lip syncing can get a little bit... Also, uh, let's ignore the bad lip is looks like for now and real, and come to the come to attention that apparently there's a faker among our among these parts. Yeah, he said like Spider Man, thank you for saving my daughter. I'm like, we well, didn't save your daughter. And he's like, oh, and it just cuts to a woman still hanging from a bridge. Help! <laughs> it's like, how dare you point at me? <laughs> now it's very rude to point. You're being very rude. Oh, yeah, we're in it's the like you're yeah, pointing, yeah. which is different from regular pointing. You are pointing, <laughs> and my pointing while wow, you're pointing. Do, 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 oh wow, do, this, do, this is actually yeah. this is actually now that you think about it, this is actually very forward thinking me to wear this suit for this mission. Because <laughs> we're the Spider-Man of the future. 
I'm not alive. pointing at you. I'm pointing at your pointing. pointing which is oh, different, different from, from regular. Pointing. Pointing. That's right. It's promising. I actually forgot about that. It's it was such a fun scene and freaking and, and freaking Stan Lee and Stan Lee finally got to play J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, because Iron Man pointed obviously. Yeah, I was about to say because that's a little thing, true believers. For the longest time, Stan Lee always wanted to play J. Jonah Jameson and he wasn't able to until Spider Verse, where he voiced Jonah in that one cameo. Yay! It was fun, and it was one of the last movies, and I know it was probably the last movie he worked on. Actually, it was... no, it wasn't. The last movie he technically worked on was Endgame. Oh. That's right, he was in the... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna say right now, that, like, in, 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 in my showing... Technically filmed back -to -back. In my showing of Endgame, I, I'm surprised... Oh yeah, we're following the Faker, because the Faker also then went to this... Oh, he's been saving people from fires, even. But yeah, what were you trying to explain? Uh, that I'm, at my showing of Endgame, I'm surprised I did not get more applause for when Stanley appeared. And I saw it opening weekend. Yeah, well, I guess it might have. To, I guess you could just chalk that up to the fact that the place where you live doesn't really have as strong appreciation of comics as you do. Yes, just it was just ah, like I I clapped a bit because I was like that was his, that was his last cameo. Yeah, I know. Like I I I, I enjoyed that. But the, honestly, I should probably stop there because I want to talk about a lot of things I enjoyed about Endgame. I know, but we, yeah, I know. we, we want to talk about so much, but we don't want to give remember, away any spoilers. I remember we had a whole, I remember we had a whole plan to like do a review of it at the at the time we did, but then things kept coming up, and now here we are months later. Yeah, and yeah. as much fun as that would be, I get the feeling we're at the point where we probably shouldn't. Well, actually. I say that, ADP. but they are planning on re-releasing it because again, yeah, they Dana, are. They're need making to an Avatar. They are they need they really, they're making yeah, an extended it's, version. It's yeah, like, it, it's like saying, because they really want to kick <laughs> Avatar to the curb. So here's the thing. This is where I think it almost made. Dis I feel like it should disqualify. Like I really think, if now they're making an extended edition, I really do think that. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Spider-Man, Spider right. you good with stomp that poor bastard. <laughs> he just Bye. lands on a guy. He just lands on a guy and is like piggyback mush. Now, what were you saying about disqualifications? Uh, also, we're gonna meet this guy. So apparently, our dude or faker is actually kind of a actually can be pretty tough, huh. as we're gonna see up here. Also, this is just me, Percy, saying I love this effect when I'm running up fire escapes like this. <laughs> I love that. That's an easy and deal. whoa, our faker really kicks some ass. Seriously. Like, and he left the drugs. Uh, so are good. And he left the drugs. I can't help but find that funny. My leg. My leg. But anyway, shout out, Fresh. But yeah, it was the thing of um. I think it, I think it should disqualify Endgame in the sense of if they're gonna make an extended edition, like you know how they have that table that shows Avatar. Oh, by the way, real quick because Matt had mentioned this to me. That's Matthew Mercer. Oh. Matthew Mer Mercer is the faker. I mean, and listen. Weird. My pleasure, citizens. Excuse me. I hear someone in need. Yep, oh, that's that not talk like that. Nobody talks like that. And he ah. shows up ready to fight. Right. We'll get even more from Mr. Fisk. Let's see how he handles a real problem. When they they all have guns. I'm not the real Spider-Man. <laughs> not in here. Mercer... And he needs help. Mercer's voice Spider-Man in the past, hasn't he? Not that I know of. Hmm. This is the closest he'll ever get. And he's actually, and as James and I learned, he's actually a black belt, so I can actually take him out, except I need to punish him. Sorry. Don't wow. fake me. <laughs> Don't pretend to be me. Okay, that's your slap on the wrist. Okay, now go get some butt. Why, Spider-Man? I'm your biggest fan! You know okay, what? now go get him. If he is a capable black belt, why did he just up and pansied out there? Because he had a gun. These guys had guns. All the other they guys had guns. guns. And that's what Spider-Man says. Like, Spider-Man says, we'll take out the guys who have guns, you take out the other guys. And yeah, if you actually leave them to it, you'll actually take out a couple guys. But yeah, we gotta take out the people with guns. Anyway, uh, what was I saying is, I think you have that table that shows all the movies. I think if they're gonna make a full-on extended edi ed edition now, I think it should be disqualified in the sense of, now we should consider it to be two separate movies. You have right. the original release and the extended edition. You can't have the extended edition add on to the original sales anymore. Yeah. Because I feel like after a while, like they were close, and I think they are. I think they may have passed it, a Avatar at this point. I don't know, but just I feel like after a while they're kind of pushing it, you know. They just again, they just want to be known as the best of the best. And if it's going to take the... an alternate, a, a new, a new take with extended scenes, then yeah. 
I mean, it I'm could also I... be there was a lot of stuff they really wanted to get into the movie but couldn't, and, you know, they just well, really wanted is, to get it out there. That is also fair. I mean, like, the, the, not going to be blunt here. The film is around three hours long. It, it gets to a point where it's like, we might need to cut corners. Yeah. I guess. But just, yeah, at the same time, you, whoa, at the same time, you know where I'm coming from here. We're just like, like where do we draw the line? Are yeah. Gonna, what if they kept re-releasing it every month for the rest of this year? Like, I feel... But yeah, that's... I, I, I understand that. My little shtick about the whole, you know, theatrical re-release with the new content, my whole shtick with that is that why couldn't they just put that stuff on the Blu-ray? Because they want to be the best. They want to be better than Avatar. Which, to be fair, they want to be the, they wanna be the highest grossing movie of all time. Before, before, like... before, the, before, the, before it hits DVD and Blu-ray. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna look that up on Wiki. Highest gross. I'm gonna see where the where the, the total is at right now. Highest grossest movie. Highest grossing movies. Uh, have you oh, seen was... Endgame, Jordy? I'm sorry. Yes. By the by the by the way, fake me. You might want to fix that patch in your butt. What patch? Yeah. But yeah, Logan was asking if you saw Endgame, Jordan. Oh yeah, I did see Endgame. Okay. And okay, so now okay, we're down to six million. There's about six million between the two right now. Avatar and Endgame. Dang, only six million. You know, then why not? Why not just leave leave the movie out for a few more months? Maybe. Uh, let's see. So, Ava so goes Avatar and Game, then Titanic, still strong at third place. Hmm. Over twenty years ago, uh, Star Wars: Force Awakens, Avengers: Infinity War, Jurassic World, uh, Marvel's Avengers is at seventh place. Furious Seven, uh, Spider Man. I accidentally recreated the entirety of Jurassic Park. Devil oh, damn it, Harry. All in Central Park. It was a real... <laughs> okay, we actually have to Harry, save the pigeons. You need, Harry, you need to put your father in a fucking, fucking okay. intervention. Peter, please promise me you won't get mad. I won't get mad. Okay, I know this is a recording, but I'm going to assume you said you won't get mad. I kind of made a pigeon, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I assume you're probably mad now that you've actually heard about the pigeon man. But <laughs> like, don't worry, Pete's Pete's Pete is harmless. He's a little bit on the dim side. He you just named wants bread him crumbs. Pete? Exactly. You named pigeon him Pete. Pete. Oh God! Look at all that bo. Ew. <laughs> pigeon Pete. That, I, just is that's that actually thing? a Ninja Turtles character, Pigeon Pete. Fast. Oh, God. Oh. He's, he's part of the like, Mighty Mutantables. The last thing I was going to think about to just carry that joke on is like, okay, I'm going to assume you're um, mad now that you... Are. Okay, hold on, go ahead, James. Okay, real quick. It's like, uh, Spidey... Or excuse me. God, I did it again. Uh, Peter, you might want to do something about those birds. Otherwise, you remember that incident that happened back in Raccoon City? Yes. Put up with me it's going to be worse. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to, the other joke I had to finish off with then, uh, okay, I assume you're mad now. you actually never had bird poop mission. Yeah. It's like, okay. He's like, what? Okay. Okay. He's like, okay, I assume you're actually mad now that you actually heard about the pigeon man. If you're not actually mad, please flip this tape over to side B. He does so. Okay, cool. Now that you're actually cool with the fact that there's a pigeon man, I'd like to go over and just comes a whole way. He just planned for everything. Cool. <laughs> just in case pigeon man actually worked out. But yeah, just, yeah, Pigeon Pete is an actual character. He, he appeared in the IDW comics. He's also in the 2012 series, if you remember that, Jordan. What oh yeah. Are, what what are his powers? He doesn't have any. He's just he he was a okay. pigeon that was yeah, exposed to the same mutagen that the turtles were exposed to, and he's he's basically just a giant pigeon that can walk and that talk, sounds, and has motor functions, that, kind of dumb. Yeah. That sounds that sounds at least three times as terrifying to see walk around New York than a ninja turtle. And actually, I should give a little fun fact. That version of Pigeon Man from the 2012 series, he's voiced by Pee Wee Herman. No, actually he isn't. <laughs> I thought he was. He is? Oh, oh, never mind. I'm Pigeon Pete! Oh, oh. Okay, I anyway. I or am I confusing it for another bird character? I would still um, love I would, I would um, love Pigeon Pete to be voiced by Pee Wee Herman. I know Pee Wee Herman voiced uh, uh, Batmite in Brave the Bull, but that's like the last he thing I remember. He did, and that was great. But voice. A anyway, to... To give you inquiries, Jordan, the guy that actually voiced Pigeon Pete is um, A.J. Buckley, who also voiced Toad in Wolverine and the X-Men. So huh. who did I confuse <clears throat> uh, Paul, uh, Paul Rubens for? I don't think Paul Rubens voiced anyone in the 2012 series. Yes, he did, actually. I remember. Hold on. 
Uh, look it up. But yeah, no, but yeah, no more zombie pigeons. No, no Raccoon well, City incident mark two. Yeah. Oh, thank I was about goodness. to say, I, I do know Corey Feldman voiced something in that show. The, the Corey Feldman was Donatello in the first live-action Ninja Turtles. He voices Slash Sir in the Malachi. That's who he voiced. Oh. I, I, yeah, he's in a character exclusive <laughs> to uh, to the. Uh, the show? The show, yeah. So that's why I got oh. confused. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You're fine. Oh, and, a, and as we just learned uh, from that little flavored text, so uh, Peter has been trying to get a hold of Harry for a while, but Harry hasn't been returning any of his phone, any of his calls or texts, even in Europe. Oh, huh. man. Dang, international rates. But yeah. So yeah, I guess with that said, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all in the next part. I promise the filler is just about over. We're going to get to the actual story soon. Yay! Till next time, guys. Bye. Pigeon Pete. Yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. Now join us in the next part! <laughs>